You know, this business of craftsmanship goes deep in England. Take model makers, for instance. You get used to hearing how they work to thousands or even ten thousands of an inch, but somehow it all doesn't register. Yet, let one of them mention that he's using the same timbers, the same design, the same methods of construction as in the original, and then something starts to click. That's how it is with Edwin Crook of Forest Hill, whom we see at work in a scale model of one of England's oldest lich gates. The original at Beckenham is made of pinned oak. His model's a perfect pin-up copy. Building the main structure has already taken a hundred hours. Now he'll spend another hundred squaring up the details. Tiles are his present concern. Tiles by the thousand and each a perfect copy. To get his details correct, he spent many long hours noting how time has left its mark on the fine old weather-worn gate. Here's an interesting model. The idea for the revolving cap came from Upminster. It's known as a smock mill, a name which comes from the draping effect of its walls. The cap is designed to revolve as the wind bears on its tail. Built into the main sail are details only to be found in the few remaining windmills in Sussex. If you've ever motored to Norwich or even been carried there by pillion, you'll recognize the ancient market house at Wyndham nine miles outside. 4,000 tiles are needed for the roof. All in all, the model took him 900 hours to build. And the correctness of each detail bears out all I said about craftsmanship, for it's a tradition with craftsmen of his type that they never stoop to cheat. Ten thousand slates and a maze of timbers make this model live. It's the yarn market at Dunster in Somerset. Into it went his heart too, for it was the first model he ever made.